Good afternoon from the Bilkin Stadium following the opening day of the Isthmian Premier Division season which saw folks in Invicta pick up a 3-1 win at home to Worthing. Uh, Invicta missed a penalty in the first half. Uh, Andy, Andy Yusuf brought down. Uh, Dave Smith missed a penalty. Uh, going into the second half, Worthing had a penalty of their own which Tim Roberts saved. They then scored from a free kick. But uh, a Ronnie Dolan corner headed home by Ian Draycott, who then made it 2-1 to Invicta with a fine finish from the edge of the box. And then Dave Smith, who uh, forced a save at the goalkeeper, but then bundled one over the line to complete the scoring. After the game, I spoke to Roland Edge and man of the match, Ian Draycott. So, Edgy, what a way to start the season? A uh, fantastic way to start the season. You know, when you're the first fixture's Worthing and you've had like quite a tough pre-season, playing some good sides, Dover and Maystone and stuff like that, you want to get off to a good start, three points really important. You see Worthing coming up, you think, well, that's going to be a tough test, uh, Test, sorry. and I think it was today. I think they're a good side. I thought we were just, on the day, better, to be honest. Yeah, well, well obviously, missed a penalty in the first half, then they missed a penalty, it swung backwards, then they scored the free kick, and at that point, maybe people would think it weren't going to be our day, but then we rallied brilliantly, and of course, Draycott's come up with the goods again. Well, you know, we got a good penalty there and said a minute ago, I mean, Dave's been bashing him in at uh, training. You've been there, you've seen him, takes a great penalty. Just think it's one of those things, keeper makes a good save. Uh, then they get the penalty, which I thought was a little bit dubious, if I'm honest. Uh, Tim makes a good save. That was the only passage of play for the whole game after that, where I think our players lost their heads, could have cleared the ball, made two uh, fouls that they shouldn't have, and then the lad scores a good free kick. But... You know some days where you think, oh, it's 1-0, it's all over. I didn't feel that today. I thought the boys the boys were playing too well for it to be over, you know. So um, I had a secret confidence. I didn't know we'd end up going away and scoring like we did, but I thought we'd get back into it today. Yeah, it certainly felt like maybe we had dropped off at that point when they got the penalty and then the free kick. But then uh, Addy got straight back into them and won the corner and then Drake to scored and, and we were straight back on top like we had been for the rest of the game. Yeah, I mean... Mev got the boys out before and ran through a few things, suggestions of free kicks, corners and uh, like throw-ins and stuff like that. And nice, it got executed perfectly. Ronnie's fed it into a nice area. Drake's lovely movement, great finish and you're back into the game. And the second finish weren't bad either. Yeah, when, when you see someone nod it down and you, you see Drake's coming onto it from 18 yards, there aren't many calmer people in this league, maybe the league above. And... He's always been able to finish them, and when he left his foot, I was like, your keeper's got no chance there, and he went straight into the top corner. And to, to be honest, he deserved a two-goal stay. I thought he was fantastic. And Dave wrapping things up with the third. I don't think he'll score many closer than that. Well, no, but I mean, it was a good move. He's gone through, he's hit it. Keeper's made a good save. Got to give the keeper some credit for them, Worthing. I thought he did really well. He made some good saves. Dave's had a shot, keeper's saved it, and it's been him and another player chasing it over the line. The bloke had no chance, to be honest. If you've seen how strong Dave is, the bloke's never going to get near it. Dave's put it in the net, and hopefully that's the start of many to come. Yeah, it's the sort of desire you want to see from a forward. They haven't given up, and he's gone after it and made, made sure we've killed the game off. Yeah, you know Dave. I mean, Dave's a winner, uh, and his partner's probably even more so a winner than him. And I, I just thought both of them today, it's tireless. I mean, since Addy's come here, Dave's got to play a slightly different game than he's used to. He's a great hold-up player, but defensively we're asking a little bit more from him. He, he's working hard at it, but Addy today is a nuisance as a defensive forward as much as an attacking one. And I thought both of them gave him a real hard day. Yeah, speaking to Newman last week, he said he wouldn't want to play against a pair of them, and you see why today. Yeah, definitely. But going back, I mean, all the credit's going to the two lads up front. Drake's puts it in the top corner, but I mean, the two wing backs, uh, three at the back, real solid. Tim, safe hands. You know, I just thought today was a really, really good team performance, and I think it takes that to beat a side like Worthing. Yeah, everything seemed to click on the pitch and everything was good off of it. Good weather, a big crowd today and hopefully a lot of people will go home happy and then come back in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, Folkestone, I mean, through, through the lockdown, the transformation of the ground and stuff, the pitch has just got better and better year after year. Uh, the style of football is getting better as well. It just It's all clicking together at the minute, but I mean, you can't get overly excited. It's the first game of the season, but what we saw today was nice and pleasing. Cheers, Edgy. So, man of the match today, two goals, it's not a bad way to start the season for yourself? Yeah, great start, both as a team and individually. Um, obviously, I've been out for three or four weeks with a little niggle and didn't know if I was going to be fit for the start of the season. So, 
to get some minutes last week uh, was a good start. And then pre-season as a whole, I felt good. Training on Tuesday, I felt good. Uh, and yeah, Cogs has put me in and said, go and give me 60, 70 minutes. Uh, and it was a long 60, 70 minutes that turned into 90. You've, you've repaid his faith for putting you in there, though. Yeah, uh, Cogs has always said, go and affect the game. Um, and the easiest way for me to repay and put that in is to be able to score goals. So getting two in the first game is obviously yeah, a good start. How do you think the team got on today? Yeah, good. We had a game plan. Um, obviously, we, we looked at their shape and they were a good team. Um, you have to respect that they're a good team so the shape and the personnel that we've got we had good experience through the spine of the team uh, and we asked people to work hard do their jobs work hard and we'll get the rewards for it and I think that showed up there today It certainly looked like yourself Addy Dave the two wing backs as, as well Every, everyone works hard today I don't think that anyone could be accused of putting in anything less than 110%. No, that's, that's exactly it. And I think even the new signings are starting to realise that's, that's what you've got to do to be a Folkestone player. Um, you get your rewards from working hard. And if you look at even some of the, the players that have moved on and played high level from here, the first thing that they've done is worked hard. Um, and if you work hard and work together as a group and understand your role in the team, then you'll get your rewards by getting chances and scoring goals. And obviously you've got two more today. That's closing in on a certain record. Uh, I, heard, I heard someone below me while I was filming uh, mentioning how close you were getting. Um, not too far away. Yeah, no, I think it's only one or two now. Uh, so we're, we're knocking on the door. We're close. Uh, so hopefully, yeah, if we can play like we did today and I can get some chances, then I'm pretty confident hopefully we'll get that number. If you could just hold off a couple of weeks so I can put together a nice video package for you, that would be lovely. That would be brilliant. Try and, find, try and find them back through the years. Uh, some of them in black and white, I think. But, yeah, good job trying to find them.